My title here is Be Ambitious and Be Global. Through my experiences in the last 37 years, I have learned a lot, a lot about business, people, culture, religion, and being a human being. First slide that I would like to show you is about one Japanese person, Mr. Yoshinobu Sei. He was a dedicated bridge person in between India and Japan. In his book, he says, India, you will understand it fully, but only after 20 years of living in it. How many years of your age? Doesn't matter, but many of you have lived in India only around 20 years, I believe. So it's not enough. And for me to talk about India today is not enough. I have lived in India only about six years. So I have to excuse myself that according to Mr. Say, I am not a qualified person to talk about India, but I will speak about it. My career history at Sharp Corporation, 1979 employed, 1984 to 89, I was in Saudi Arabia. This was my first mission outside Japan. 1990 to 95, I was in the United States. And back in Japan again, and 2011, January, I was appointed as CEO of Sharp Corporation in Indian Corporation, New Delhi. But for some reason, I was shifted to Pune. It's a western part of India, where Sharp's manufacturing facilities located and I was appointed as the managing director the head of that plant and just one month ago I got retired graduated from Sharp officially and where to go next I'm already determined to go back to India yes I have determined to become a bridge person in between India and Japan to promote commercial, academic, cultural relationships. There's a different perspectives, but yet there are some common things we can share in between India and Japan. I'm sorry, today's story is totally about India. But this will give you, for those who are coming from the other world, might get some in insights as well. So there must be some secrets out of the Japan success story. Because why? 1978, Japan got number two position. So there must be some secret behind this. And this book, Japan as number one is talking about that, but I'm not talking about entirely as the book says. What I'm going to talk about from now, next slide, is what I believe was the secret. And what I believe, because I experienced myself in my life. Punctual to schedule also, this is another point. At offices, in the corporate culture, there are two meetings in the morning and in the evening. All these information are shared by everybody from up to down. All these things are shared by the, the all team members. That is important. And every day, every day. Don't you think this will give a great productivity of the work? Whole and soul. 
Have you heard about this? Oranso is a name of a vegetable, spinach. In fact, here it doesn't mean that. It's a three words combination. Ho, koku, ren, laku, and soda. It's a three words into one. Ho, ren, so. Again, I'm using the colors so that you can easily understand. Reporting, informing, and consulting. This is what you have to do every day with your bosses. Lifetime employment, I'm a good example, huh? 37 years working only for one company and retired. Job rotations and progressive promotion system. Because of this, I was motivated all the time. I was given a chance to try any challenges. That's why I was not thinking anything about any other company to go and work. I was very much motivated and very much satisfied with working with the company. So it was me. I was felt like that. I must work hard and to get that. Why not? But yet, officially, nobody tells you this. So, officially, teamwork spirit. This is more important and very important success factor for the Japanese history. Know how sharing and tutoring. Meaning, if I know something you don't know, I will share it with you. But you share it with me. Whatever I don't have and you have it. So it's a sharing. Then we can help, help each other to grow, right? This is something that can work, make it bigger as a team. And tutoring. Tutoring means if you don't know something, I can teach you. I can guide you. And you tell me whatever I don't know, and you know. Like that. Give and take. Okay, now let me just briefly talk about 5S and Kaizen. Because those two are the secrets of the success story of Japan, and particularly industry, manufacturing industry, and those are the main drivers for the sustainable business. Seiri, Seito. Seiso, Seiketsu. Last S. Okay, this is very important. Okay. Shitsuke. Shitsuke, self-discipline. Shitsuke is very, very important because the Shitsuke is the driver for the rest of the four. If you are not self-disciplined, you do it once a while, but not continuously. But this 5S must be done continuously. This is very cool. Kaizen is a two words in combination. Two words in one. That is Kai. Improve or change. And Zen. Better. So Kaizen is a word meaning continuous improvement. Importance is continuous. It's not just one time in a year. Okay? And it's not for one single department or QC or some technical people. No. This must be for everyone. Anywhere. No matter what you do, you can do Kaizen. 11 articles for my constitution to become a global person. There are 11 articles here. Illogical statements will never get understood. Number four, passion can only get you touched by others. Respect your partner to ensure your credit. Number six, emotion will not help you lead to correct decision. Number 11, the last one, 
which is very important, of course. You can never get expected result working alone. Nobody can do it alone. You need somebody to help, to work with. So teamwork, it's very important. This is my last message. Let's build a solid partnership in between India and Japan. And I hope you to become very ambitious and very global and very happy person. Thank you for your attention.